Hey guys, welcome to my channel Linux King. My name is Salman Francis and today we are going to continue our very interesting and detailed course uh, which was Practical Apache Admin and it's all about Apache Web Server and one thing I would like to mention here that I'm planning to upload the video in parts so just keep looking for my new videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, before we start or deep dive into this course, I would like to mention the requirements for this course. Uh, you need a basic Linux skill set to complete this course, uh, some command line information, how to work with in CLI mode, and how to install the packages. And if you lack the Linux skill set, so I would suggest to go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and over here you can find tons of Linux related videos from very basic to advanced level. You can start from CentOS 7 install, then you can move to part two and so on. Okay, so let's go back to our discussion. Okay, the main goal of our course is to know what is Apache Web Server, how it is installed and configured, how to manage it. And since it's a huge topic, therefore I will not be covering it completely. So, and for more information, you can always visit uh, the site which is httpd.apache.org and over here you can download the uh, the web server uh, you can find the documentation you can search about more information the other projects as well and a lot of things so these these document are really important this documentation for 2.4 really really important so if you click on this documentation you can get information about the current version 2.4 which we are going to use in our configuration and our course so okay without a further ado let's install apache in order to install apache you can use jump hyphen y install httpd i have already installed it so that's why it's uh, not installing right now so in order to check if the package is installed you can use rpm query grab httpd and it will give you the information that it has HTTP, HTTPD 2.4 installed. Okay. So now what is Apache actually? So it is a web server which serves web pages. Very simple. And these web pages can be written in various languages such as HTML, um, PHP, etc. Okay. Important thing to remember is Apache is an open source application or you can say it's an open source web server. It was developed in 1995 and today it has around 37 to 40% of market share and its competitors are Nginx and Microsoft IIS server. So yes, Microsoft also have a web server and I'm not a very big fan of Microsoft. So please forgive my lack of information about Microsoft. Okay, so what we need to cover next is why Apache is so important and what it can do. So Apache is very important web server because it can handle large amount of traffic and it is very easily scalable. Apache is modular. Please remember that it's modular, which means we can add various functionality to Apache by creating and setting up modules. And modules are basically software components which add specific features to the application, just like the plugins which can add functionality to the piece of software or, or the software. So version which we are going to use is 2.4 and we can check httpd-v is the command to check the version for Apache and you can see it's 2.4.37. Okay. So if you remember or of course you know that we are working on CentOS 8 which is a RPM based distribution and it's the community edition or community enterprise software. So this CentOS has the default configuration file of Apache in etc httpd. So if we go to etc httpd, this is the root directory of Apache. Okay, and over here we can find all the configuration files. Basically they reside, the main configuration file reside in conf directory and it's called httpd.conf. Uh, please note that this is again CentOS your distribution may vary and those configuration file may not be present in this directory. Okay, however, 
if you are not sure uh, where your configuration files are you can run httpd dash capital v command and it will give you like the main configuration file where it resides and the root directory where the main configuration files reside okay uh, in debian my might it might work with apache dash v or uh, yeah you can see this uh, AP, uh, apache ctl uh, also works the same way in debian or ubuntu it might work like this but still you need to check okay what is next okay one thing i would like to mention is the structure of apache so a very important thing is the structure of apache how it works so please remember that apache is a parent service with multiple child processes so when we start apache it starts the child processes and the parent process and each child is controlled by apache parent service just like a boss controlling his employees okay or you can say that apache service controls its children just as our parents do so basically the parent process controls the child process and when all the process is controlled by parents or you can say if the processes are controlled by parents the child can work efficiently and show more performance and this also helps in work distribution or load management as well okay so let's check basic commands for apache and the basic commands are start stop and the status command so at first as the name suggests systemctl status will give us the status for apache and you can see that it's not only showing that it's active and running however it's telling us that it's running since what time okay and it's about the system actually and then here it's running like the status here it's running listening on port 80 this is by default and these are the the memory the tasks uh, some processes and then what is the main server name and it started at what time so couple of uh, information about uh, apache server okay in order to stop and here you can see that it's uh, showing not the system actually it's apache but since this is the virtual machine we created and the date time is incorrect so that's why it's showing you sunday when we created this a virtual machine however it's telling you that it started 13 minutes ago okay so this is the information about HD apache server now in order to stop apache you can use system ctl stop httpd and it will stop the service if you check the status this time you can see that it's not loaded okay when we give the command to stop the apache the children shut down first and then the parent so whenever we give the shutdown command please do remember or stop command the children shut down first and then the parent shut down itself okay this happens instantaneously and the connection terminates so if you just give the stop command the uh, the service will stop instantaneously and all the connection will terminate however another command which is like reload or graceful uh, stop will complete the request if there are some requests pending in the background it will first uh, pro uh, complete the request and then it stops okay and it's uh, this is why many people use reload instead of uh, restart because restart which is our next uh, command what it will do is it will kill the children but not the parent after some time the configuration is reread and the children are respawned so we can run these commands with either root or sudo so this means that we have at the moment systemctl status httpd and it's stopped right now so we can start it and this will start the parent and the child uh, children process okay if you check the status right now you can see that everything is working fine so the command is system ctl, uh, CTL reload httpd what this is going to do is it's going to uh, like gracefully restart the system or reload the system okay so what will happen in the background is 
the pro if there are some uh, like requests which are not completed they will be completed and then the system will restart okay and this is how reload works okay now if uh, the restart command is given it will kill the children but not the parents so we have this uh, that's a top command or we can check the process okay now let's see we have this uh, apache is 7979 then there are certain other processes and let's see what will happen if we restart the httpd And let's compare the process ID. And you can see that the process ID is changed. Okay. So we can run these commands either as root or sudo, as I have mentioned earlier. Okay. Status command will give lots of information. We have already seen such as version also, time, or uh, the information which we have already seen. Okay. And one important thing is let's say if we want to check the configuration file uh, if it's correct or the syntax is correct or not the very important command is httpd-t and this will show if the syntax is correct so how we can check if this information is correct or not let's go to httpd.conf slash httpd.com and let's give some wrong information And by the way, this uh, configuration file, you can write here, uh, the things are mostly case insensitive, but it's recommended to use case sensitive commands. Let's say just give some wrong information. And over here, you can see that now it's telling that the bad username APA. Okay, so that's how you check the configuration file if the syntax is correct or not. Let me delete this. And this time, if I use HTTPD, it will give us, like it's rereading the information and now the syntax is okay. Okay, now very important command also, which we can use uh, is to check the virtual host and for modules as well. So let's say, I, uh, I already told you that Apache is modular. So check to check if the modules are available, what we can do is we can dump the modules with httpd t dash d and dump modules and this command will dump the modules okay so here we can see that we have some shared modules and then we have um, lots of modules actually static modules core modules okay so this is how we can check the modules which are available in for Apache. And also we can check uh, with the same command dash D dump hosts, virtual host. And for virtual host, we will take a look in our next video or upcoming video. So it's going to show us the virtual host and press enter. And I don't think right now we have any virtual host because it's a new, uh, uh, install of Apache okay and as promised uh, I told you that we will be creating one very simple web page to check if our Apache server is running or not and IP address is 1.145 and the main basically document route for Apache is if we go to the configuration file and search for document root and you can see it's var wwhtml so this means that all the web pages should be stored in var www.html and you can change it. However, we are going to continue with our default configuration and it's let's call it index.html. 
and this is going to be a very simple web page and we can call it uh, this is our first web page and I'm going to close it with HTML uh, tags okay and now let's restart our Apache and go to our uh, the page uh, we are going to go to the IP address of 192.168.1.145 and it's not loading the reason is firewall so let's check if we have firewall dash cmd dash dash list all and yes we need to enable Apache for this so it's going to be firewall dash cmd dash dash uh, add dash service is equals to httpd dash dash permanent uh, sorry http and now don't forget to reload cmd dash dash reload and now if we okay here we have it this is our first web page so Today we have seen a couple of examples, some basic information about Apache, the market share, how much it holds, uh, some very basic commands. And in our upcoming video, we will uh, see more advanced commands and then step by step we will complete our goal. So thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you in our next video. Till then, goodbye and God bless.